Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. I just thought today I would do a little demo of my HTC Vive that I just got about three days ago. Also with my Hackintosh dual boot with Windows 10 machine that I built around Christmas of last year. I, I built this to be a Hackintosh, also to dual boot Windows 10 for the purposes of uh, running the HTC Vive. So I just like to kind of demo that because it's awesome. The first thing you do is you just start up Steam VR here. This brings up this little window and these two icons here represent the two lighthouses. They're on and connected. And then the next thing that you do is you turn on your controllers. For some reason for me, the one that faces this lighthouse over here, I have to flip it upside down so that it uh, maintains tracking. When these two icons are solid and they're not blinking, then you're ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to start up the Space Pirate Trainer in full screen mode. Let's see if that works. Normally I would start up the Space Pirate Trainer from within VR itself, but I want to try to get it full screen so that you guys can see it a little better. Uh, in the future I'll record this using like a Game Capture HD. There we go, that's pretty good. But for now I wanted to I wanted to do this on the uh, on the TV because it's just easier for me. Next step, I, I took off the earbuds that came with the uh, Vive. They are right here. They're removable. They've got a short little pigtail there. I just don't like them. They fall out of my ears really easily and uh, I forget that I'm wearing them sometimes and I go to take off the headset and they kind of yank on my ears. I, I just don't like that. So what I use instead is I use this uh, wireless Turtle Beach XP510 Ear Force setup, and uh, I just like it better. Fits my glasses just fine. There's actually an adjustment here for people with glasses, but I find that the default settings work just fine for me. And I can already see the boundaries when I reach out my hands here. I can see the boundaries all around me. It's actually not my hands that I'm reaching out. I'm stepping into the boundary because it's detecting the headset. I'm gonna reach over here and grab my ear hit or earphones. A uh, little tip, sometimes what I like to do is if, if it's pushing my glasses too close to my face, sometimes I like to grab the stems of the glasses and just push them slightly towards the lenses. All right, and now I can see my controllers on the ground here. So I'm gonna strap them on. This game doesn't show me which one's my left controller and which one's my right, and it doesn't really matter. Quick demo of the, the weapons. So uh, if you press the electrostatic touchpad here, uh, you can pull up a menu and you just slide it around. So that's like fully automatic. This is a semi-automatic burst. That's single shot with laser sights. And that's like continuous laser. And you've got a battery meter right here that shows your power level. So as I leave that laser on, it diminishes and then eventually, eventually it turns off. So the semi-autos like never run out of battery. So I usually use the semi-autos. Uh, you've also got a shield. You just put the controller behind your head and it pulls out the shield. You don't have to pull the trigger or anything. Ready to rock, let's do this. Oh, one other thing. This little thing right here in front of me is the map. So you can see the enemies showing up right there. And also these little dots right here represent my life. That's my, that's my health. So, my strategy is when the little lights turn on on the robots, that means that they're about to fire. If you interrupt them by shooting them before they can fire, they will not fire at you. So I like to do that. And then when they shoot at you, time slows down a little bit. So you can even dodge bullets. It's pretty cool. It's like very matrixy. So that guy was about to fire, so I interrupted him. You can also do a force push with the shield. So you can see I, I kind of pushed him away. But I usually leave my shield behind me until I really need it because I've got a higher rate of fire without it. I'm missing like crazy. Performance pressure. Performance anxiety. All right. Wave seven. Wave eight. Hopefully I'm not right in front of the TV. You can also shoot the bullets if you're fast enough. 
Wave nine. I love this game. I'm not very good at it, but I love it. Ugh, I just missed like all of those. That was pathetic. You can also switch weapons if you want. Brought my shield out. And what I like to do is I like to cover one side with my shield while I shoot with the other. Or what? Ah, I think I just died. Yeah. Now well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this demo of space pirate training with the HTC Vive. If you have any questions about this, go ahead, feel free to ask me in the comments section down below. I usually respond pretty quickly. Hopefully you found this video interesting or useful. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Uh, again, this is my, my Hackintosh that I built. I've got other videos that detail the entire process where I built this. It is fantastic for running the HTC Vive. Uh, I've got all of this stuff on the minimum quality settings. A lot of the, like, like the graphics cards at GTX 970. So, you know, that's kind of like minimum requirements for the HTC Vive, right? But it works great on minimum requirement settings. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. Like, I don't notice any jittering or skipping or anything. I mean, it's just... It's like you're in another world. It's really incredible. So if you're curious how I built that, check out my other videos on the Hackintosh. Um, I'm going to be building a new Hackintosh. This is for my boys. This is for my, uh, my partner's sons. I, I built this for them for Christmas. I'm gonna be building one for myself using a 6700K CPU and two 980 Ti's in an SLI configuration. I bought all the parts last night. So stay tuned for that video. It'll be coming out just as soon as I can get the parts and put it together. So uh, really excited about that. And then we can bump up the quality settings and see, see what the HTC Vive can really do. As always, until next time, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe.